All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, do I got a dream matchup for you today. And we're going to do it on 2007 Mr. Olympia runner-up Victor Martinez versus 2013 Mr. Olympia winner Phil the Gift Heath. And one hell of a close comparison video because we got Phil Heath, who in 2013 looked fucking unbelievable. And he was at his biggest weight wise at like 255 pounds. And the crazy shit is he might have been 250 plus pounds, but he had one tight ass midsection. His abs weren't as deeply cut as they were in 2011 or 2012. But his midsection was definitely the tightest, which gave him a great front lat spread and made him look so much wider. So let's see how Phil he does against the best version of Victor Martinez at the 2007 Mr. Olympia. Because this was definitely one of the big, biggest screw jobs in bodybuilding history. But I digress because Jay Cutler, he should have never won in 2007. That's for sure. He was definitely off. But anyways, guys, let's get right into this awesome Mr. Olympia comparison. So, without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys, the front relaxed. And usually I go with Victor Martinez in this pose, and usually I go with uh, Phil Heath in this pose. But since we're putting these two up against each other, I gotta pick one, right guys? So I'm gonna go with Phil Heath. Phil Heath just looks like a complete, utter badass hold in this pose, especially in 2013, because like I said, his midsection was the tightest in 2013. So I'm going to go with Phil Heath. His lats are flaring out lovely. I mean, Victor looks good, but Phil, in my opinion, looks a little bit better. All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot. And Phil Heath's side chest, man, it sucks. It really does. It looks like it's fucking deflated. It really does. It looks like a deflated basketball. The silhouette looks okay, but I'm going to go with Victor because Victor has a bigger, better chest, and it's popping more. He's got more striations, and I think the silhouette might even look a little bit better for Victor Martinez. And the side sweep to the quads look good, so Victor's going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the crab most muscular, and Victor looks good, but he doesn't look that dry in this pose compared to fucking Phil. I mean, Phil is striated everywhere, striated shoulders, arms, great traps. Victor's traps are a little bit bigger, but Phil's got great traps, great quads. His midsection's not protruding. His chest ain't that big, but he's got nice striations to the chest. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point for the crab most muscular. All right, guys, now we got the side tricep, and um, I'm going to go with Victor Martinez on this one, guys. I just think it's uh, just as thick as Phil's uh, side tricep, but it's more deeply cut than Phil's side tricep pose. I mean, I guess it could go either way, but I just think that Victor has a nice horseshoe-shaped tricep. I think the silhouette looks fantastic. I think his midsection looks nice and tight. The shoulder looks great. The chest looks great. So all in all, Victor Martinez is going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the uh, hands class most muscular, and this was a tough one because the lighting is totally different, totally different. The lighting for Phil Heath is so much better than the lighting for Victor Martinez. But if you really look at it, my God, Phil Heath's fucking shoulders and arms are huge, huge, and his midsection's nice and tight. Well, that's what you get, guys, when you're five foot nine, two 255 pounds. Now, Victor Martinez, on the other hand, looks really good. He's got big shoulders and arms, but all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the ab and thigh, and I'm going to go with Victor Martinez. I think Victor Martinez holds a mean ab and thigh pose, one of the best ab and thigh poses I've ever seen. I mean, Victor Martinez looks phenomenal on this pose. I mean, don't get me wrong, Phil Heath looks pretty good as well. He's got a great V-taper and a tight-ass midsection, but up against Victor Martinez, no competition, so Victor's going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread. And um, I don't know. I think uh, Phil Heath might be wider than Victor. And Phil Heath's midsection is so much tighter than Victor's. Look at Victor's midsection. It's so watery. It's like fucking, I don't know. His midsection looks like shit, giving him a shitty V-taper. And like I said in the beginning of the video, Phil Heath has a mean front lat spread because his midsection's so tight. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point for the front lat spread. He just looks so much better. All right, guys, now we got the front double bicep, one of my favorite poses. And um, I'm going to go with Victor Martinez right off the bat 
Phil Heath looks good. His biceps look nice and peaky. But you know what? I think uh, Victor Martinez has the same size arms. And I think Victor Martinez's silhouette is just way better. He's leaning to the right a little bit, giving him an unbelievable V taper. I mean, he just looks great. He's got a great aesthetic physique. So all in all, Victor's going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the Christmas tree, and both of these guys look great in this pose. And uh, actually, Victor Martinez's Christmas tree actually looks like a Christmas tree. And he's got great hams and glutes, a great upper back, but I can't go against Phil Heath in the Christmas tree pose. You guys know I love Phil Heath in this pose. Him and Ronnie Coleman have one of the best Christmas tree poses going. So I'm going to go with Phil Heath because it looks like somebody just drew it on Phil Heath's back with a pencil. It's just crazy, in my opinion. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread. And I'm going to go with uh, Phil Heath, even though this is a really close one. I tell you, this is a really close comparison between these two. Uh, but I am going to go with Phil Heath because Phil Heath has a way better lower back. And his traps are a little thicker. And he's, it just looks like he's got a piece of armor on his back. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point for the rear lat spread. And look at those hams and glutes, huh, guys? All right, guys, now we got the last pose of the night, the rear double bicep. And you know what? This was a really tough one. But if Victor Martinez had a better lower back, I would go with Victor Martinez. He's got thicker traps. He's got great detail to the upper back. I mean, phenomenal traps, great biceps, great shoulders. I mean, it's a rear double bicep, so we got to go by the arms as well, right, guys? I mean, I would go with Victor, but I can't go against Phil Heath. Look at Phil Heath, how 3D he is. He is just unbelievable in the rear double bicep. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point for the rear double. And um, let's tally him up, guys. We got Phil Heath with seven and Victor Martinez with four. But you know what? It was closer than you guys think it was because you know what? Each pose, like the rear lat spread... That could have went either way, and it could have been six to five. I mean, this was a super close comparison video, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you liked the video or not. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.